All right, everyone, welcome back to Street City Studio. I'm John. Today's video, we're going to set up some Fallout shots. Uh, I just recently watched the Fallout show with that uh, Walton Goggins as the ghoul. Uh, I think I think probably everybody's aware of it if you haven't watched it. Uh, but this isn't really going to be a, a review of the show per se. But uh, just kind of a spoiler warning, I might talk about it as we go. Probably won't get it too in depth. This won't be a long video or anything. Um, but I might mention some things, right? I really did enjoy the show, though. Uh, but a heads up, I am not uh, familiar with all the game lore and trivia that some some people might. Uh, I haven't played through all the games. I did. I did play uh, Fallout 3, I don't know, maybe halfway through or something. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of the uh, turn-based combat. Uh, but aside from the turn-based combat, I really did like the story and, and the whole Mad Max vibes. Uh, I like that post-apocalyptic uh, steampunk kind of right? I liked it. I like Fallout. Uh, I just, I can't play it too much. Uh, but I do like the story. I like the plot. I like all the designs and the, the feel of everything. Uh, 1950s vibes. Right? This 1950s post-apocalyptic nuclear Fallout vibe. That's really cool. <clears throat> uh, and so I kind of want to get... Just some shots of myself as the Wanderer here, I guess. Right, the Vault Survivor. Uh, now these figures aren't very... These are the Funko figures. And they're not very poseable, but I probably can... Maybe get myself looking at the Pip-Boy here a little bit. And that's pretty cool. I think that's cool. But again, they're not the most articulated figures. I do like that he came with this. Uh, what is it? The big boy or the fat boy or whatever. The nuke launcher. I really like that nuke launcher. That thing was cool. Like I said, they're not the most poseable figures, so I kind of just wanted to get some basic shots here. And I was, I was thinking about uh, sticking my head on each of the figures. I'm on, I'm on the uh, Survivor figure right now. But I'll probably try on the power armor and even see if Nick. Nick Valentine here's hat don't fit me. Uh, I thought we might try some some of these desert backdrops too. Because I do have some. But I kind of did want to start off in this real deep black background because uh, I've really been enjoying it and trying to get it better and I am finding I'm finding the more light that I can get on these guys the deeper and darker that background's gonna look but uh, I'm gonna probably swap some of these heads before I'm trying to decide if I want to change the background first or if I want to change the uh, heads first. Let's do the heads first. Right. And this one's a snug fit on this survivor here. That's okay. Try on this power armor. Oh, 
Oh yeah, fits way better. Check that out. Now he can't really hold the helmet, so I'm gonna resort to my sticky tack trick. Right, I got probably half of this ball of sticky tack. Hold it. Stick this sticky tack right on the helmet here. And then stick that to his hand. Right. Look like look like he's holding his helmet there. Now let's let's put him in the middle now. Put the vault dweller off to the side there. Let me uh, probably want to refocus. How's that? That's not too shabby. That looks pretty cool. That head is a little loose. Uh oh. I think I'm realizing I gotta do some touch up paint on my nose again. That's alright. I knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. He's been getting a lot of play time. <laughs> Probably dropped the head a hundred times since the last time I painted it. And dropping it will do it, that's for sure. But that looks pretty epic. That's going to bug me too. I'll probably get to that paint today. Let's uh, switch it up now. We'll stick his head back on. Yeah, see, there's dropping it right, right now. Probably knock some more paint off. I really like this powered armor. It looks so cool. Yeah, I wish it was more poseable, but even as is, just putting it up on the shelf with some figures just like that still looks pretty cool. Let's try for Nick now. Yeah, I really like his hat comes off. That's cool. Yeah, that's a tight fit, just like the Vault Dweller, too. This one. No, that's backwards. Look at me, I can't even tell which way to put his hat on. Yeah, that's not bad. Oop. Yeah, I don't think Nick's my favorite costume to wear. Either the Vault Dweller or the uh, Powered Armor. Now, they did a really good job on that Powered Armor in the show. That, uh, that Maximus character. I'm not sure what to think about him yet. I know everybody's rooting for him. I think uh, him and the girl to end up together maybe. But I'm still kind of questioning his character. Is he a good guy? It's maybe, but it's 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 still on the fence for me. Uh, gotta see some more of his decisions, I guess. We'll see how that plays out. But I'm probably gonna pull this background in and swap back maybe to the uh, Vault Dweller here. I think I like the Vault Dweller better. I'm real curious to see where the show goes. I can't. I'm back to confused about this hat again. There. Well, let me pause this and we'll bring these backgrounds in. Alright, there we go. Uh, now it's not quite as bright back there as I'd like it. But I'm running out of lights. That's all right. Let's get my head on him. Let me 
spread these guys out a little bit. that one. That's kind of cool. And I do I really like this Pip-Boy. I'm going to give this gun back here to somebody. I really wish I could get this Pip-Boy at a better angle like I'm looking at it. Right there, and it. Let me readjust here. There we go. That's probably about as good as it's gonna get, I think, as far as looking at the pit boy goes. That's not the worst, though. Kind of just had the one more idea here that I wanted to give a try. And that's... I wanted to do a walking away shot, but the problem with a walking away shot is that you're not going to see my face much. shot or anything but kind of wanted to give it a look see I guess that is one of the iconic scenes or whatever right I need a good dog for that scene I think I don't have a dog for all this. I suppose I could use Cosmo <laughs> from the Guardians. Where are you? Let's see. Oh, knocking stuff down. That's what I get for going off script, isn't it? Here. Right? Cosmo from the Guardians. Cosmo's not uh, inappropriate looking with that with that nuclear age vibe going on. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm glad I thought to include that. Check it out. I'm going to use some of this kinetic sand I got just to break it up, make this floor look a little more real. Get it 
thing is I can just to cover as much of that ground. You can even break it up because if your angle's low, right, you're not going to see down into the ridges. But even if you do, I've got the sand floor down. And that should help a lot. Let's see here. Let me, let me change this angle. There we go. Now you get a good idea what we're talking about. See? Maybe right in the middle of them here. sand really really helps sell the illusion I guess maybe back here a bit yeah it's looking better oh that's cool That's pretty cool. Yeah, that'll make a decent shot, I think. Kind of want to kind of want to go back to the group shot now that I got the dog in there. I know Cosmo's not exactly dog meat, but that's pretty cool anyways. Even dog meat's not dog meat, right? <laughs> it's a different dog every time. It You could call Cosmo dog meat if you came across Cosmo in the wastelands. <laughs> that's pretty fun. I like that. I don't know what I like better. I don't know if I like being in the in the powered armor better or if I like being a vault dweller better I think the vault dwellers just by default because that's the main character right that's the Mad Max but the armor's sweet and powered armor's the best <laughs> you know I'd rather have armor than not have armor <laughs> But, for all that, you know, you can just pretend, right? Oh, there, I'm in, I'm in the armor now. <laughs> so, I think there's just a little more to be had sticking my head on this one. But that works, I like it a lot. Curious to see where uh, Season 2 will go. Right? We're going to get some new Vegas, or if they're just kind of what move on to the uh Alaska or whatever, right? That's where the Enclave's got that uh, oil rig up up off the coast of Alaska or whatever. Where is he going next? Uh, it'll be interesting to see. But uh I think that's about all I wanted to do today really. Right? Catch myself in the wastelands a bit. So uh I might keep trying to play with this pit boy view, right? but I don't know that I'm going to do all that in this video. Uh, rotating them and trying to find perfect angles. And even if I come in real close and get, get an angle looking up, 
Alright, that might. Let's try that. Let's try that real quick. Alright, just to show you what I'm talking about. If I get an angle down here. See, it's not lit real well for it, but if I get an angle way down here, I might be able to do something with that. Turn his head a little bit, get him looking at it. But, like I said, that's kind of, that's going to be real boring stuff, I think. So, we'll call it a good, call it a good video right there and wrap it up. Um... As always, I appreciate you coming by and hanging out with me, uh, checking out my little videos and my photos. Uh, if you want to follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, links are down in the description uh, for both of them. Uh, but otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your week. Uh, keep playing with them toys, and I'll talk to you again real soon.